Hey, hi. There's a fascinating heritage to the kata as once practiced during Okinawa's old Rukyu Kingdom period. The liaison between the Middle Kingdom and the Rukyu Kingdom dates back hundreds of years. Naturally, the trade and the commerce between the two, the, the tributary colony of Okinawa, has already been well written about. However, the connection linking Okinawa's uh, historical phenomenon, karate, is still somewhat ambiguous with regards to its actual source of origins. We're talking largely about the development of karate, i.e. kata, in the post-turn of the century period, from around 1900. Itoso Anko took from behind the closed doors of obscurity, supported by many of the local practitioners and recognized authorities of that era, to modify the older practices into something that would then subsequently support Japan's war machine by modifying the older forms into shorter versions, keeping the templates intact but reconfiguring the geometry, he subsequently produced something that would serve as, for the lack of a better description, Meiji period Taibo. The ability to practice uh, small routines morning, afternoon, and evening, and also what the Japanese in the school uh, with the Momusho Ministry of Education refer to as bukatsu, or activity clubs, or sports clubs. Um, the training was intense, morning, afternoon, and evening. And children went to school for about five years in those periods, from around 10 or 11 years old to 15 or 16 years old. So by the time that they finished their school system, they had robust bodies, and uh, kata was subsequently used then as a, uh, a vehicle through which to uh, focus on physical fitness and social conformity. The only other exercises that we see from that era that are extant today were those exercises developed in uh, the Kume or Kunida district of Naha, or the Chinese community. Specifically, that movement that was continually cultivated and nurtured in Matsuyama Koan, or Matsuyama Park. The meeting of the minds from those who had trained in Fujian province, the, the local Chinese, who continued to nurture and cultivate their traditions, produced kata, which serves as the foundation basis from which we see the schools of Nahate unfold. These schools today continue to practice these traditions, and yet, pinpointing the exact geometrical or, excuse me, geographical locale from which they come is limited largely to Fujian province. This exercise that we're doing today in Japanese is referred to as Tsukinaka, or Chuan Tsing Chong Chuan uh, in Chinese. It's an exercise that means, when you study the etymology of the Chinese ideogram, means to penetrate the heart, or, or, or the middle, if you will. It doesn't literally mean to penetrate your heart. It means to get into the source of the very foundation of understanding what this tradition means.